I have before me the ASUS ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED and the ASUS ZenBook Pro 16X OLED. Two fantastic laptops built for creative professionals, but each for a different creative professional. And that's exactly what we're gonna get into in this video. Now, I know a lot of you have been asking for this video and I've been holding out because I've been hoping I would get the latest iteration of the StudioBook Pro 16 with the 12th gen Intel processor. However, I've yet to be able to get one, but I've done extensive research and the actual build features of this laptop are the exact same from last year to this year. So the only thing that we don't know about is the improved performance. But I wanna walk you through the features of this laptop because I know the performance is going to be better out of the StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. It's just a more powerful laptop. It comes with an i7-12700H and an RTX 3070 Ti compared to the i7-12700H H and RTX 3060 out of the ZenBook. And the StudioBook optimizes those components more and offers more RAM configuration. So first and foremost, if you want RAM, you're gonna go with the StudioBook. You can get the ZenBook with up to 32 gigs of RAM, but you'll most likely have to buy the i9 RTX 3060 version with 32 gigs of RAM, which will put you back roughly $3,000. Now I'm gonna link a bunch of different models in the description below. So if you wanna check out the live pricing or if you wanna make a purchase at the end of this video, those links will be in the description below. Whereas with the StudioBook, you can get the i7-12700H with the RTX 3070 Ti or the RTX 3080 Ti, or you can get the w 11955 m Oh, that processor skew kills me every time. And RTX A3000 or even the A5000. So there's a lot of options for the studio book. And then of course, in regards to the RAM, you can upgrade the RAM on the studio book. You can turn the laptop over, pull the bottom cover off, have access to the RAM to swap out those modules. Whereas on the Asus ZenBook, you don't have that opportunity. So if upgrade path is important to you, then the ProArt is the way to go. Now let's get into some of the basic features. Now they both have 16 inch OLED displays, so you don't have any issues there. Um, they're gonna be the exact same size, they're gonna be glossy screens, and they both look great. However, the StudioBook opens up a little bit farther than the ZenBook does because of the way that the keyboard rises up on the ZenBook. See how it pops open there? It stops the screen from opening further uh, as much as the studio book. Now, I really like this feature. I like how the keyboard kind of rises up towards you. It's very comfortable uh, when you're typing on the keyboard. The keyboard's very tactile. They have very, very similar keyboards, as you can see, minus the fact that this has a numpad and this does not. But I mean the actual feel of the keys and the typing experience, it's exactly the same. So if you're a 3D modeler, I would lean towards the studio book because obviously you can get more RAM and you have all of your neat feature buttons here. Now these allow you to zoom in, zoom out. They can, you know, you can rotate around an object, you can tilt above the object, whatever it might be with these three click buttons. When it comes to creator work like Photoshop or Adobe InDesign or Adobe Illustrator or maybe even video editing like Premiere Pro or After Effects for motion design, these buttons uh, are not really a huge benefit to you. I'm sure you could program them for certain things and then you could make them a benefit, but out of the box, I did not see a lot of use. Uh, and it actually kind of annoyed me at times because of the way like you had to make sure you clicked the right button and you know you can't just click anywhere on the trackpad like you can over here with the ZenBook. So as far as the ZenBook is concerned, it felt more like the digital artist, graphic designer, photographer laptop. It had this very nice large glass trackpad that is so functional it's so easy to use, it's quiet, it feels great under your fingers. And then you also have the built-in dial with the center click button. So this is actually a glass dial compared to the physical dial on the StudioBook Pro 16. Now you also have a touch screen on the ZenBook Pro 16X as opposed to the StudioBook where you do not have a touch screen. So again, these are the same price. If you're looking at the i7-12700H and RTX 3060 versus the i7-12700H and RTX 3070 Ti, they're both around $2,600. Again, I'll link in the description below if you wanna check and check the live pricing just to make sure uh, I'm not off or something like that. Now, if I am, comment below, I might be off. But last time I checked, that's what it was. And so really you're, you're going for features and you're going for the performance that you need. Like I said, 3D modeling laptop and powerful video editing laptop here, as in like lots of power. With that RTX 3070 Ti, you'll be able to have smoother playback. You'll be able to have faster export times for video editing. This will still serve you well. 
Uh, but when we look into something like 6K video editing, you're gonna have probably about a thousand drop frames with B-RAW, where this you might have zero with the newest model. Again, like I said earlier, I don't have the latest model, I've been trying to get one. I might actually just end up having to purchase one. Uh, we'll see what what the, how the cookie crumbles as far as my contact with ASUS. Comment below if you want me to get an i7-12700H with an RTX 3070 Ti in the studio book, and then I'll share this video with them and hopefully they'll send me one over.